students you guys and such lovely brothers all in one room. Uh, even though I've been in this game for the last 25, 30 years when it comes to speeches, I still need pen and paper here. Yeah. But because I wrote this, all this that you see here comes from my heart here, from my heart here, so. We commence today by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sending blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam. We ask the Almighty to bless him and his entire household. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all his companions as well as every single one of us and our offsprings to come up to the day of Qiyamah. Not forgetting those who have struggled and strove through the years in order to preserve our deen in the way that today it has come to us. May Allah use us to do the same for the future generations. Can I welcome you, my brothers and sisters? It is an honor to have such distinguished guests to our Luton Turkish Education Culture Center in Umishai near V Mosque, Ramazan Iftari 2019. A special guest who Lord Gurman Hussein here, who has very kindly joined us today. Firstly, can I just say, Jazakallah khair to our sisters who have cooked and prepared this wonderful iftari for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept theirs and our fasting and good deeds and ibadat for the whole of Ramazan and thereafter, inshallah. We are having an open door iftari for the first 21 days of this month, inshallah, in Ramazan. So anybody who from after today likes the food, please come again. <laughs> We're open for another 20 days. Yeah. Fasting is an institution for the improvement of moral and spiritual character of human being. The purpose of the fast is to help develop self-restraint, self-purification, God-conscious, compassion, the spirit of caring, and the spirit of sharing, the love of humanity, and the love of, and the love of God. Fasting is a universal custom and is advocated by all the religions of the world with more restriction in some than others. The Islamic fast as opposed to mere starvation or self-denial is an act of worship and obedience to God. For, for centuries the blessed holy month of Ramadan teaches us how to become good Muslims, how to become good neighbors, how to become good human beings. By, by feeding the needy, by helping our neighbors, making door for those who we cannot reach to help. So what about the other 11 months that we become? Why can't we learn from what we are taught when we are going to learn from our mistakes? My dear brothers, in a time where international organizations like the United Nations, Security Council, like NATO, and others lose their credibility because of their inability to offer effective solutions for problems that concern humanity today. This is why that I want to ask some questions. Is it because, pardon me, this is why in the year 2019 in Rohingya, we are in China, we have concentration camps for Muslims. This is a, a, a true embarrassment, not for everybody, but for every single human being in 2019. No, it's not 1944 anymore. Okay. That's why we have Syria. We still have Syria. People are still, still dying. That is why we have Yemen, Libya, Sudan. That is why we have Palestine. That's why we have a world of fear. That's why we are not... That's why the people now target churches, synagogues. People now target mosques. My brothers, we do not need to look ourselves very clearly. clearly if we do not learn from our mistakes, if we do not learn from the teachings of the Ram of Ramazan, that how we as human beings, that how we as an Imam, as Muslims, should act to our neighbors and everybody else. We are going through a period in which the world needs unity, more than ever from all aspects of religion. It doesn't matter what religion you are, we need unity for the sake of human behavior, for, for the sake of humanity. So, so that we can live as brothers and sisters, so that we can live as neighbors, so that we can be in communities which we understand each other, not afraid of our views and values, and together let's protect humanity for the sake of Allah. Zakla once again for coming. So.
I'm now going to hand the microphone over to Burak Aykan, who is a maritime attaché. Assalamu alaikum, brothers, sisters, and dear children. My name is Burak Aykan. I am maritime counselor at Turkish Embassy. Also, I am alternate permanent representative to the International Maritime Organization in Turkey. We are dealing with some maritime issues during our working hours, and also we strictly follow the all discussion for the International Maritime Organization regarding some technical issues. And I would like to thank the Luton Turk Culture and Training Center for their kind invitation for us. And I'm very happy to meet you this evening for Iftar. And we believe we need to uh, enhance our cooperation more than our current situation because every time we need each other to talk and to share our knowledge and also we, share, we need to share our experience and I'm also very happy uh, to join uh, your IFTA at this uh, evening and I would like to thank again uh, for the uh, kind invitation uh, this uh, if that thank you. Thank you for your comments. <coughs> I'm now going to hand the mic back to Lord Kurban Hussein. Assalamu alaikum, distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, and children. Uh, it gives me a great, great pleasure to be here once again. And it gives me a, an opportunity to share my views with our Turkish friends particularly, but in general we have people from all the communities here. And uh, it is always uh, good to come up uh, to such meetings where there are people, as we are, a multicultural country and multi-religious society here in the UK. And we enjoy that and we welcome that and we work together to strengthen that multiculturalism. I think it is, uh, Britain is a great place to live in where we have, by large majority, except very few extremists that we might have on either uh, side, but largely uh, people are very friendly from uh, various cultures and religions, and we live together and we enjoy working together. And we must all, and we always do, uh, work harder to keep this uh, cordial uh, 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 culture, uh, uh, you know, uh, so that we are, and our children also enjoy working, living here together. Um, Attila was absolutely right when he was mentioning about international issues and the failure of uh, United Nations and other international organizations in the keeping peace and giving justice to people. He mentioned many parts of the world where uh, Humanity is uh, in danger, and uh, the United Nations have failed. And one of the other areas we perhaps I forgot to mention, uh, of course there are many others as well, is Kashmir, of course, where there's a lot of uh, atrocities uh, happening. And what we have, and the world is keeping their eyes shut at the moment, is the far extreme Hindu organizations which exist in India. They are just as worse as at best as the Nazis of Germans, um, who are um, ex against all the minorities, they, they want to wipe off, uh, wipe, uh, uh, write off all the minorities, including Christians and Muslims and uh, other minorities from India. And there is a particular project which is uh, run by the uh, Hindu organization, which is called uh, Return Home. That means forced conversion of Christians and Muslims uh, to become Hindus again. And that, that is very, very dangerous. And I think we should all open our eyes and work uh, uh, together to not to allow that to happen in, in today's world. And also, I think we have a responsibility as, a, uh, as Britain, being one of the members of the United Nations Security Council, we ought to bring justice to the world. We ought to help. We have a strong say in what goes on in the United Nations and Britain has uh, a role to play there. But more closely to home, the Britain at the moment is going through some 
special circumstances or, uh, which, uh, within the last 40-50 years because of Brexit uh, situation. The whole nation is divided uh, over Brexit and uh, there are European elections coming up very soon as well. I'm not going to be, uh, uh, you know, putting uh, you know, a political party uh, stance here, but I, I have to tell you that uh, uh, it is important that we go through these elections and every one of us participates in those elections and choose whichever party you want to vote for. Um, the only thing that I have to say to you is that if you want a political party which actually wants to stay in Europe, uh, I mean, some of you may not want to stay in the European Union, but if you do, uh, I don't need to tell you which party is united in uh, staying for Europe, within the European Union, and that is the Liberal Democrats, of course, but uh, you are free to choose whichever party you want to uh, vote for, but I urge you all, I urge you all to go to the polls and vote for the party that you would like, because uh, staying away is not going to be helpful. But anyway, I think it's not a time for long speeches. Uh, but thank you very much for having me here and listen to me. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> 